oh yeah i decided to do this because i had the extra time and uh for some reason this started like dumping raining outside um don't don't know if you hear that on camera but yeah this is a look into the uh this is the third part of my first trading card game i made and uh this is the third set which is was basically left un untitled as base three so i don't know what the official name is going to be but take a look into it those are the character cards you have different organizations like um uh, the cult was turned into the secret um uh, i guess for legal copyright reasons and legal reasons in general but um symbol uh the symbol change too okay in this set there's no um gunmen's there's the snipers and assassins so these are like your um characters that you would you know, have um blocking the main characters which you can have two main characters on the field at the same time goes in detail more on the attacks they do a little more uh, all right still decent card retrieve train spy Hailstorm. These cars are cool. Molotov cocktail. <laughs> Elevator is funny. Play on someone. Lace cherry cigar. These are uh, rare properties. Unknown airport safe house. Tokyo Hospital. Characters heal for fifty damage, all status effects have been removed. Useful. Full moon, crazy car. Your opponent and one of your characters receive 50 damage for three turns. You must have a weapon. It's basically a card that you will end up playing just to knock out your character. You don't care what happens to um, you know who you haven't played, or you got a, a character has like a bunch of bulked up HP, so they could take the 150 damage loss. You got the sweets A, B, and C. The heal and items. Try as maze. All your opponent's characters removes. I mean, receives 20 damage. Any spy, sniper, or assassin is active for two turns. Page of blood. Some one of the most powerful cards in the game. You just you and um your partner just gets a like full hand of weapons on the opponent on the opponent in like um just turn one. I think it's more I could go into depth about it. Alright, um here's the the fourth set which was Originally called the night, but it was changed to, to the darkness. Yeah, 
corrupt car is like it's supposed to be a good character but it says corrupt because now she's like um I guess not new evil <laughs> or so or you could say or just everything a bit of the word corrupt still had invite vitalities and stuff and kicking the plate of you know of um each turn or whenever they're they're allowed to be played or, or used the light bringer some secret weapon which um yeah Psychotic burglars. Bulletproof car. Settling wins. Take priority. Destroy. Stolen money. Seize. One of the most useful cars allows you to take a, someone else's land and play, put it in play against them. Bodyguards, you got mafia guards, you got soldiers, soldier two. All these um, guards they have, you know, the HP that um, you know more powerful than guards from the, the, the other sets. Put of snakes. Rabbit Wars, Wild Bear. Your opponent re re uh, receives 40 damage and loses 10 HP for two turns. So you do a straight 60 damage with the Wild Bear. <laughs> That's all it takes. To get a lot of HP off of your opponent. Heal, you are now protected from blood, from burn or blood loss. Um. Alright, um. Mysterious rock, summon secret weapon like before. Burning store, burning burning stone, summon secret weapon two through four. Destruct tablet, summon secret weapon. Forbidden stone, summon secret weapon. Okay, I'll get back to that in a second. Earthquake, all characters receive twenty damage. Earthquake two, same card, different artwork. Chain fire, black pill. Character opponent dies. This card has no effect until you send 30 luck cards back to the deck. So basically, this kills off a main character, but it's hard to do it. 30 um, luck cards may be a lot. I may have to change it to like 10 or something. But it's, a, it's a definitely a kill card. This lead card fire. Another good card. Burn your opponent, make him lose damage. I'll explain burn in a minute. Poison gas, deep waters. City of Sinners, Night Watch. Pseudo Armor it gives you a bunch of HP, that's a good card for uncommon. Broker, Retreat, Skeleton, The Unholy Chapel, Rare Land, Hostel, Abandoned Hospital, Upscale Casino. All these lands just bulk up your team. Adult Club 2, Um Team Strip Club in this game. Private shopping center. Bulletproof truck. If this was like a legit game that came out and it had hype, and it was worth money. This car would like go to like um, two hundred dollars like the first month. This. Turn 
one or whatever you get just an extra 100 damage the mini tank would be even more expensive it would be like over 200 180 damage is easy hp all right heal two attach your to your character you're now immune to burn so basically immune to burn uh means there's no way that the, the ailment or status effect can be put on you which um back to heal if you get um burned or have blood loss the heal just stops it but if you had heal too the rare that just um it, it won't there's no way in hell it could happen because you had you had the card on the table it was already down so you couldn't be burned so that's a good rare in the camera it's basically like um like a, a bunny with a camera inside and in, in a no room somewhere um, explosion whenever whoever puts this card in play receives a hundred damage okay now there's a method to the madness uh, like oh uh, you're just saying like how does this card not sound utterly retarded but in this game there's something called a hidden hand that um allows you to take cards five cards that you have that aren't a part of your deck and place it face down they're also called assist cards. You can play them anytime during the game whenever your opponent's hands get, gets too stacked. So, um, you're allowed to, there's cards that allow you to exploit your person's, I mean, your opponent's hidden hand and use their cards against them. So, if this card was in your hidden hand and your opponent grabbed it, they would just do 100 to themselves. You could, like, troll the opponent, have, like, probably more than one copy in, the, in your hand. So, I mean, it's just a, uh, I don't know, it's, I guess, it's like a, a troll move or something. Ninja, right, one of the best rares. Rarest, flip a coin of heads, attack does 20 damage to all your opponent's characters. And both of your opponents must discard an animal card if Tails, this attack does nothing. The reason it says both because this play, this game was made so to where a person, two people could play against two people, which... A lot of the wording may change if I decide to actually go through a print in the game. But, um, yeah, this card is, it hits, it does a lot. You know, um, it's doing that much damage to a bunch of opponents and stopping people from attacking. Shapeshifter, um, it's useful because it allows you to copy anything your opponent does for X amount, for as long as the character doesn't die. Alright, now, secret weapon. Um, there's a couple ways to summon this card. Big giant dragon. Um, you can summon secret weapon by, you know, um, basically taking those to the, these four things right here, which is mysterious rock, burning stone, destruct tablet, and forbidden stone, and. If you pull them all four of those out of your deck, you have them in your hand, you play them down, the secret weapon comes out. And it comes out and it just wrecks everybody. Like once this card is in play, secret weapon does 30 damage to all characters. Um on the field and in the third turn after the third turn, each of your opponent's characters receives 50 damage. Um that means Right when this card hits the table, it just does a straight 30 to everybody on the field, even you and all your characters. And then after a turn, it doesn't do anything. And then after that turn, it does 50 to all your opponent's characters again. So it does a straight 80 to them. So you have somewhat, but not control over it, but kind of not. But um, yeah, but the thing is, um, Secret Weapon can't be killed because it has. 200 HP so during the second turn whoever gets the cast I guess I could try to you know try to kill it between uh, turns so it doesn't do 80 to them but with 200 HP that's highly unlikely so uh, and also the second way it says send this card any two character cards back cards to the discard pile that means if you don't have those four uh, items that I showed you on the other page you could just take two of your own uh, you know guards and just kill them and they'll it'll bring it out 
you know, that that may stay the same or may change when the game's printed, but I don't know. But the four uh, different items definitely will bring it out. So, uh, another card, Tornado, which is one of the most powerful destructions in the game. One, one of your opponent's properties is now destroyed. Send this card and all your opponent's guards and property to the discard pile. This card cannot be recalled. So basically, this this kills like you know. It not only just destroys your opponent's land in one turn for nothing. It it just kills everybody on the outside of the damn property. So this is like an Armageddon and a Wrath of God wrapped into one card. You know, um, there was another card that kind of played like that. And um, the second game I made, it was a different card with a dark concept, but yeah, this this is definitely something you would want in your deck, and one of the best rares. Alright, Protect 2, attached to your character, your character is now protected from instant death, so if you had this attached, somebody tries to one hit KO you or play that Black Peel card, any card that does that, it would just not have an effect. Raw deal. Dark dealing. Draw as many hands as you like. Your character receives 20, 20 damage for every hand that you draw. A hand is two cards in this game, so you need to um, have a full head. That means you need two cards in your hand. So if you draw four hands, you will just receive 80 damage. I know that sounds dumb, but that's, it depends on how much you want extra cards in your hand. This is um, another variant of that card. Um, it deals, but it deals more with the type of cards that someone draws. Like if someone has property and armor, you draw, if whoever doesn't draw right that matches those types, they can receive damage. So it's, it's similar, but it's different in a way. But, um, you got the burn, uh, damage counter and blood loss. Yeah. Back arts. Um, that's nothing else. Um, yeah, that was the third and fourth um, base set of my um, trading card game. It's a, f a fifth and sixth one. I haven't made, you know, um, the proxies for them yet, but it would take too long. So, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks.